Welcome, everybody. It's early. I'm not turning the lights on because I'm lazy. I required me to get up and make the bed and other things. And I just don't want to. Nah. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. No one's online yet? What a bunch of slackers. Sunday morning? I am still about 15, 20 minutes early for the static group. Uh. Hopefully everyone's getting up and getting going this Sunday morning. It's going to be a slow morning for me. I can feel it. <laughs> I love how Kel's only messes. I'm up. I'm awake. <laughs> All right, people are meandering this way. Who's busy to get my phone on? Hmm.
Oh, I love it when I wake up and one of the first things I get is my brother sends me a bunch of fun TikToks. <clears throat> Guten Dias. What's up, Crimson? How are you? What's up, Sparrow? Yeah, it is. I'm only on my first cup of coffee. Actually, I'm about halfway through it. Um, I need more. <laughs> I just love this message. I'm up. Kel's just like, I'm up. That's all I, that's all I got this morning. <laughs> Ah, good morning, everybody. We might actually move a little deeper into Carnors this morning. We've been here, I think this is the fifth session in Carnors. Uh, one, two, three, four, yep, this is the fifth. This is the fifth session for Carnors. We've been doing the left courtyard and right courtyard. But, um, we haven't moved any deeper because it's dangerous in here. What side actually? See if I can pull a mob. Waiting for the static group to form up. And I'm too lazy to turn lights on this morning. I'm just sitting here. Chris went out and I can't be bothered to. Ah. Fair to Bidlin. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good way to describe how I feel this morning. It's um So this morning was a morning of waking up and for the first time like I wanted to I you know, I wanted to sleep in. And it's not the EverQuest, it's not the static group. It's the it was the first day I was just like the cats are such a huge responsibility. And we haven't got the outdoor shelter built. And so, like this morning, it was just the realization that the five little ones, because literally I went outside, I went out in the living room, the house is a wreck because the cats, the the seven of them, you know, mom sleeps outside, but the seven of them were just doing crazy stuff all night long. And um, as a result, the house is just trashed. There's there's stuff everywhere and, 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 and you know, I fed them. And um, and then threw Luke and Leia out the door. <laughs> it was like, you, you two go outside with your mom. And then the other five are running around the house. They're three months old now. They're more than three months old. And they're getting big. And they're into everything. And they're trashing everything. And they're breaking everything. And I'm just like, I have to do this for two more months. Because we can't get them spayed or neutered until the end of October. Because they won't be 
a big enough size. They're not big enough till the end of October. And I just had this morning of, of just like a big sigh of like, I love my cats, but oh my God, I hate my cats. Like, it's just like, uh, three, you know, two more months of them continuing to grow and be monsters. And we let them out during the day and everything else. But the problem is now they haven't had any vaccinations or any shots or anything. And the vet clinic here is very stubborn. Both the vet clinics are very stubborn about like, they're not going to do any sort of rabies shots or anything until they're like four months old. Which means I have to wait another month before I can even get them their rabies shots. And rabies is not a big deal here, but I'm a super paranoid person. So I don't want to just let them out until they've had shots. Like un unattended let them out. Because we let them out now. But the problem is over the last week, they have started to follow Luke and Leia out underneath the fence into the woods behind our property. And they don't wait. They just you open up the door and they're like a bullet. Just poof, gone. What's up, Chris? Why? Oh, did you have Smeagol? You want to say hi? <laughs> oh, he's being a monster. Do you want to say hi? Oh, hello. Smeagol's a naughty boy. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. There it is. He's attacking. Whoa, do you want to get that? You're a big boy. <laughs> You're a beautiful monster. Yes, you are. Sparrow and other people here. Come on, say hi. hi. She says hi, Sparrow. And good morning to everybody else. Anyway, I was saying... Um, they're being monsters, and this morning was the first morning that I woke up and I said, I love you all, but I hate you all, and I want to just throw you all outside. And I can't throw them all outside because these little guys haven't had their rabies shots yet. And rabies is not really a thing around here, but I'm super paranoid. So, um, But I was saying, like, they, they, if you open up the back door and they see their brother and sister in the forest, they're like a bullet from a gun. It's just, whoosh, they go, and they're under the fence, and they're out in the woods. And, like... They're getting, like, Luke and Leia, like, Leia last night, two nights ago, Leia had her first night outside all on her own. The reason why was because her and her brother were in the neighbor's property, and we have chain link fences. And they, they, Luke, like, got up on top of one of the block walls and was, like, crying at me, please get me, daddy, pick me up. So I had to reach up and, like, grab him and pull him up and over the chain link fence and down because he couldn't figure out how to get back out. Well, Leia didn't want to come back. She was like, I'm hunting salamanders, and it's 1030 at night, and screw you, Dad. And so she stayed all outside the night before last. And um, when I woke up in the morning, she had she had been wandering. I don't know how long she was wandering around the house, but she just woke up. I woke up, and I heard crying outside. So I wake up, and Leia's at the front door. I got to go find keys. By the time I get to the front door, she's around the house somewhere else. I hear her crying outside. She goes to the back door. She comes in. The first thing Leia does when she comes in. She ran straight to the litter box and went pee and poop. Like, immediately, she didn't say hi. It was just, whoop, straight to the litter box. So she was obviously stressed enough that she was just running around the house for who knows how long. And she couldn't, she didn't go to the bathroom. It's like, you go to the bathroom all the time out in the backyard. Like, she always goes to the bathroom in the backyard. So it's like, but she was so stressed about getting back into the, into the house that she didn't go to the bathroom. And so it was like, you're not, they're just... They need the outdoor shelter built. So this is the way of also saying thanks to everyone who's been donating to the cat fund because, you know, we have to be judicious with the money because we don't know if we're going to get all the funding, but we've raised $500 so far. So on Monday, we're going to another place where our carpenter told us that they, he thinks they sell the wood that we want at this other place. If they don't have it, then we're going to go back to the first place and I'm going to buy stuff for the chicken coop and I'm going to buy stuff for a basic cat structure so because the nice thing about building a, the cat house is that I can build it and I can start simple and add to it as time and funding come in but the big thing is just getting them an outdoor shelter so I can put food bowls and water bowls out there and some sort of a bed so that if I have to just kick the big ones out I can but the little ones it's still we have to wait until I get them rabies shots um I love him to death, but this morning was bad. Like, I went outside, and the, the house is just... <clears throat> oh, thank you, Cantan. Cantan says, I'm back! Screw your credit card... <laughs> Screw you, credit card fraud. Got it fixed, though. Thank you, Cantan, for the $25. Um, 
What a way to start the Sunday off. Thank you, sir. Um, onwards and upwards. Like, if you could hear this right now, they are, they are outside throwing themselves through their plane, but they throw themselves around and they're hitting the, the door of our office like thud, thud, thud. <laughs> I should just... This is why we need that cat cam, because then people could see the terror that we live with. I love cats, but I'm tired of cats right now. They are beautiful, but man, are they monsters. Um, and it's like an endless pile of cat poop. <laughs> Although most of them go outside when the door is open. But it, we, the hard part is like you can't open the door in the morning. Oh, the hawk. The, I can't say the falcon has kind of – he's stopped coming around the last – like I haven't heard him in like five or six days now. So he may have moved on, found a new hunting ground – died off if you never know but he hasn't been around for five or six days so i think we're back to the point where we might be able to just during the daytime open up the back door but the problem is still when luke and leia go exploring the kittens when i go with them and and mama cat is starting to call them to go to the woods now she's like oh you're three months old come with me let's go hunting and it's like dora they can't go with you right now honey they haven't had their shots and i don't want the little ones to get pregnant because even though they, most of them say like six months. I'm super scared of like those two little females getting impregnated at like four months of age. and Because it can happen. It's rare. I do not need more cats. No. No, no, no. Oh, shit. I should start paying attention. My static group's getting on. All right. Thank you, baby. Can you just pull this real quick? Because if you, since, since you turned the light on, I actually have to make things presentable now. I was going to game with the light off, but Chris came in here and turned on the light. What's up? I'm getting in the static group chat. I promise. Sorry, guys. I got sidetracked talking to YouTube with Chris here. <laughs> I mean, morning, Devaris. Morning, Kel. Good morning. Do what you got to do, my man. Yeah. <sighs> I do need to put some shorts on. I'm sitting here gaming in my boxers like I do every morning. Yeah, me too. Nothing like getting dressed on stream. And then <laughs> getting your cord stuck in your boxer shorts. Or in your buttons of your shorts. Thank you, Chris. I should get another cup of coffee before I get going. I'll be right back. All right. What's up, Ralph? Yay, peep show first thing in the morning. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Guess what I'm going to look at first thing in the morning? A hairy old men. We had a discussion yesterday, actually, with the... Uh, we took... Uh, it was kind of the birthday, August. Everybody in August's birthday gathering. No, no, no. And uh, we were bowling, and I used to bowl quite a bit. And I went to state, and my roommate was an older gentleman. He was in his Chris. 60s. Chris. Oh, sorry, and, guys. Uh, no, you're good. And lo and behold, I didn't realize he slept in a buff. Oh. So uh. I'm laying on my side, kind of looking over at the other uh, bed in the window out there. And he's set up in the bed. And, and then stood up, and I was like, uh, I'm not going to be able to eat for a long time. Christy. Eh. Uh. Oh, I get? had lots of roommates in college, and none of them did that, I guess. All right. Good morning, everybody who's logging in. I think I'm back. They're pretty good. All right. I think I'm I think I got all the kittens out of the room. Been chaos this morning. How how are you guys this morning? Okay. Morning. 
and click. She's shining a light on my bad habits. I have no bad habits. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm an angel. Are you guys inside? Mm -hmm. I am. Okay. I guess I'll go inside before I die out here. I don't see Ren, though. We must be in a different pick. Probably. I'm with Melkor, yeah. yeah. You're in 22, or you're in the normal one. I'm actually in the carryover, which doesn't look like there's anybody in this We'll one come here. over to yours, because there's 22 people here, so pick over here in a second. There's 27 here, but oh I don't see anybody. Oh, my God. All right. The well, clear. theoretically, we'll be able to move deeper in today. Um, all right, loading the buff bar. Did you really get pinged for credit card fraud, Cantan? That sucks, man. Like, companies could be... I mean, I understand why they do it, but it also sucks when they do that. All right. Um, Omelet's done. Lemonade's here. Energy drink. I'm ready. I'm on cup number two of coffee. I am not ready. But I'm here. Ugh. Granddaughter stayed all night, so that puts, oh. that puts me in a spare, spare bedroom. <laughs> Nobody got any sleep last night? <laughs> I They did. Well, my wife really needed it. That's the reason why I didn't mind going to the spare bedroom. Gotcha. Yeah, I am one of those sleepers um, who, if I'm in a strange... It's, here's the weird thing. Like, if I'm in a strange house, I have a hard time sleeping. Um, if I am in a hotel, I don't know what it is about a hotel, but most of the times, if it's a good hotel, like, you know, like a good bed, I can sleep like a rock. But most other places, I'm I'm a nervous sleeper because I hear everything, which is why I sleep with um, um, ear 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 um, plugs, those foam earplugs, and uh, everything wakes me up. And so I I'm a horrible sleeper at other people's houses. Let me get your streams up so I'm viewing them. I do have a shared pod if need be. So we're going to pick with only 11 people if you guys want to come over to us. Yes. Was there 11? I thought there was 22 a second ago. Yeah, let me, um, I'm loading bars and then I'll pick over to you. Is your druid here, Kel? Yeah, he sure is. All right, uh, invite sent. Picking over. I was looking at the wrong one, so. Picking My over apologies. to 11. Okay, Renfall. Renfall is up. Kanta says, yeah, my bank found it. A bad person did it. Dude, that sucks. That happened to my wife before. That happened to Chris. Twitch. Bank was good. Click says, day three of my fast. Oof. It's always nice to hear your voice right when fast. you flip over. Boy, thank you, sir. All right. Uh, I'm assuming it's my dulcet tones you refer to. It's something, yes. Could be Kel's silky smooth sonnets. It is silky smooth. It's almost oh. scary. I was born with this radio voice. Hey, Cal, you want to boot your druid and have uh, Tilbin bring his with Or mage? Tilbin? Okay. Yeah, Crimson, bring it on, man. Are you bringing your mage or your wizard? And we're right at the entry, so send me a tell in game because I don't remember what the name of your character was. Or type it out in YouTube. What's up, Marthinus? Heaven help me. Vendini is the weird one on on the YouTube stream. He sounds like Kel with a cold. He does. It's because he's because he's Canadian. He's <laughs> older than I am. Uh, that could be colder than the other side of the pillow. It's those few latitudes. I'm telling you. Mm. Well. Well, hopefully everybody had a good day yesterday anyway. I did. I, of, oh, I don't remember. I just slept all day. Uh, my morning went from wife woke up from the wrong side of the bed to we're moving around the entire house, Bill. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. And you're not arguing with it. <laughs> oh, no. You know what we did? We moved the entire house. Oh, man. 
<laughs> My, it's okay. The house looks good. Thank I'm you, Martin. Free. <laughs> and you're free today. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll pop a shared pop when we get in here. Okay. Hey, cool. Yeah, I did this, and then I went and did that uh, MMORPG analysis video on uh, the toxicity in in franchise fans, and then I went and did EQ2, then we watched an episode of, of um, Sandman, and then I played uh, my, I haven't played Minecraft in like a month with my nephew because they've been doing rodeo, and they were back last night, so we played Minecraft for a couple hours, then I watched another episode of Sandman, and then I passed the hell out. Rimmermog. Ooh, this one on the left actually may become a pet. It's con even to me, so. Mm -hmm. Nice. If you I like... played EQ2 until I went bowling. I went bowling, I bowled uh, part of a game and uh, limped the rest of the night. I don't know if I uh, busted up the knee or not yet. Mm. So we'll see. It's pretty, soul... pretty swollen and sore this morning, so. That's never good. Nah. I have um, flat, 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 flat feet. Um, like fallen arch type flat feet. And I'm never able to run distances because of it. And shin splints are a major issue. But um, I've always been able to just, if I take it slow, I can, I can get up to it. But I remember one time before I started taking care of myself, I hadn't ran in a few years. And it, I, it was when I first moved to Cancun. I hadn't run in about three years, I think it was. And I went running one day, and I was like, I felt really good, so I went for a run, you know. And I just went until I had, ran out of gas, right? Well, I had forgot, <laughs> I had forgotten that I had really flat feet and um, shin splints, and you know, I was I was feeling it by the end of the run, you know. I was like, man, I'm a little tender, and I'm out of breath, and I'm gassed out. The next day, I couldn't walk for like four days. Like, it hurt so bad. Even trying to, like, get up to go to the bathroom was just like, oh, I'm going to die. And then that's when I realized that buying a nice pair of, you know, $200 shoes is worth it because um, Devaris is reminding me to not be a noob. Main assist. Puller. I, was, I did it in group You chat, did it in so. a very diplomatic way, sir. <laughs> A very passive dude, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a mallow on the pet or no? Please, yeah, I've got him long. Long mess so we can get them all okay. stirred up. Alright, incoming. Okay, Rimbalk is in and on his way, finding a port here. All right. Is there a camp, is there a camp we want to move to today? I'm assuming start off we can... an old reliable and then move forward. What's that? If you want. We can start off an old reliable and then yeah, move yeah. over if sounds, you want. Sounds great to me. Move up to the courtyard and then see what we can see. Wow. I'm not going to slow the blues from here on out just because it's a little mana intensive for things that die so quick. Um, if I see like a white con or a a yellow, I'll worry about it. It's, it's I want to stay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say it's easier for me just to heal through because the the slow takes so much mana. Yeah, I just want to stay away from the boss in here. I, what do we call it? The well. I want to stay away from that boss. <laughs> like that one, I'm gonna slow because he's a big white boy. So such profiling and profiling. Yeah, I was going to say that sounded, that sounded bad when I said that. He's a big old white boy. <laughs> I, I almost responded because that, that would be me. Yeah, I've got to get in shape, man. 
I've got to get some of this weight off. It's going to have to happen. Oh, yeah. I I'm... just had to go clothes shopping because I've lost four pant sizes. Very good, sir. Very That's good. awesome. That is awesome. I'm, I'm at the... It's weird for me because I'm not a big guy, but I put on... I, fl I, I have a 50-pound fluctuation range, and it's all paunch. Um, so if I'm actively running and working out, I... I'll never be a, you know, like, ab guy. I'll never have, like, defined abs. But I, I get in pretty decent shape. And, um, but I haven't done anything since we moved here. And it's weird because I haven't gained any weight, but I've gained two belt sizes. And because all the muscle went away and converted into paunch again. And it's just, <laughs> I was sitting here the other day and I went to go, like, bend down to play with the cats and, my wife may or may not have made fun of me because I had I had like this thing hanging over the front, <laughs> and it was like, oh yeah, I've got a paunch again. It's just kind of hanging there. It's like, no, it's time to lose weight again. And it sucks too when when you get older. I know you guys are doing keto. Um, I think yep. is what someone was saying. I think uh, the virus and I do. I've noticed that that just dieting for me in the last. Like right now, I've been trying to eat healthier. It's not doing anything for me. Like just the diet is not enough for me. Like I'm gonna have to, because Chris has had me eating very healthy for like the last couple of weeks, and it's like not a single. And I don't want to starve myself, so it's like I'm just gonna have to get after it again. I don't want to get after it. That was the problem. For me, is actually when I eat, because usually it's tended to be late at night. Oh uh, yeah. I've, I cut off eating around 6 p.m. now. That's good. You know, I start around 8 a.m., stop around 6 p.m., and that's been helping a lot. That does help a lot, absolutely. I'll tell you what, the energy drinks aren't helping for me because it's so much sugar. I suppose I could get sugar-free ones. What's skeleton thing going on? I think it's a debuff that Melkor can do. Oh, okay. Cool. I just got my butt kicked for a week there. Not quite 100% awake. I was hitting every button but the right one. Keto is the fat diet, right? That's the one where you do high fats but low everything else. Yeah, high good fats. Right, right. Like avocados, yeah. butter. Yep. Pastrami. Mm. <laughs> Pastrami <laughs> is on the diet, yes. <laughs> I actually found a uh, ring sausage that has no carbs in it. Mm. Mm. No carbs, huh? Nope, zero carbs per serving, but it's got good fat. I'll have to, I've got it in the fridge. I'll take a picture of it and send you a DM. I don't know if yeah. you get it up there or not. I mostly like do, for dinner most nights, I do cheese and crackers. Yes, and, uh, that's a good combo right there. Some sort of meat. Well, not crackers, but rice crackers if they're available. I do bulletproof coffees every day. Which I actually really got to really started enjoying. It had it it took me a while to get used to butter and coffee. I don't know if I could do that. Um, I don't know if I could do butter. I like it's it. just cream. I mean, cream is just butter anyway, so you shouldn't freak out about it. I will say something I used to do in Cancun was. Um, couple of drops of uh, your favorite uh, oil in the coffee. I do MCT oil as well. Yeah, a couple of drops of oil in the coffee and then... Um... Is this your pet, Tavares? It's trying to be. It's going to piss okay. me off here in two seconds. Well, I've got him taunted. Thank you. But I did find that for me was a very, very good way to wake up because you, you have your first cup of coffee, put a couple of drops in it. It gives that a nice little earthy flavor and then by the time you're on to your 
finishing up your second cup, you're starting to feel very mellow. It's a nice, uh, nice way to wake up. All right, we'll start slowing these because we got a lot of mobs in camp. Probably my biggest. There is a lot of mobs. Jesus. You don't even have to scroll. That's not a lot. <laughs> True. Very good point. Very good point. <laughs> well. There you go. Now you do. Yeah, there's enough. Aha. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Morning. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to just hold off and just do heals. You're something to yeah. in. There we go. I'm gonna, can I back into the corner? I can't. Oh my god. I got not it. awake, Navaris? Now I am. Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. It's like, what's hitting me? And then I was like, everything came running for me. It's like, oh, I have a little health aggro. And my pets did. Mm. There's a skeletal guardian beating the shit out of me here. Well, that works. If I could target them, there we go. You have to let me know when your epic level 60 shaman buffs fade, because they were still on you earlier, and I think they still are. So I, I'm not, I won't know until, won't be able to rebuff until then. Just go. Uh, West Karana Part 2. Oh, because you're coming across the Dreadlands? <laughs> yeah. Karana is the uh, Nebraska of Norath. Dreadlands is the Ohio. That is perfect, actually. Useless, and then, well, first one being useless, second being functional. Yeah, totally. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I have a list of things I wanted to chime in on, but I guess I'm just not going to pick back up on that combo. No, go ahead, man. Knock it out. Okay. You know, the, uh, the Bulletproof coffees? Oh, man. So, not necessarily the actual brand Bulletproof, because that guy's just a freaking con artist. But coffee, so unsalted butter and coffee is a game changer. It is so much creamier makes it delicious yeah i've actually got a frother specifically for that so i melt the butter i put uh two tablespoons of cream and one tablespoon of mct oil and i froth it yep but i'll send you all that i'll Thank dig God. up dig up my quiche recipes too because that's actually a game changer in the morning <laughs> Make it, uh, you can make 12 of them at a time and let them rip. One per day. There you go. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it all boils down to the same thing. I mean, it's, it's whatever 
whatever diet works for you and that you can follow, that's the one you're going to be successful with because each one in their own form, it's just cutting your calorie intakes. Right. And for me, what worked for a very long time, and it would probably still work, but except I'm not in an area where I can have access to these things. But for many, many years, um, and I, this is more of a name thing than anything else, but the Mediterranean diet, which is essentially just lots of veggies and fruits, eggs, chicken, fish, and low on red meat consumption. Um, the hard part for me is low on red meat consumption because I, my family are cattle ranchers. So it's like, I like good steak. Um, um, but, um, that worked for me for many, many years. What has worked best for me is having a job where I work. That does help. Uh, like my brother is a good example of this. My brother and my dad are both, I and mean, we're having the same genes, but because they work, they're ranchers, you know, they just, they work right. all day and both of them stay in very good shape. And I have the same frame, but I sit here for 14 hours a day. And so the body goes, let's put all that weight right where you sit. Cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's cushion. That's the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I went I went from welder to welding engineer, so it went from you know, highly yeah. mobile, highly active, constantly sweating to well, I've been staring at this screen for a couple hours. I should probably go get a snack. Yep. Well, I was working in car wash management and maintenance, which is a lot of physical labor. It's back to teaching, so I just sit around now. Mm-hmm. Walk. On my feet all day, but that's not really exercise. I found it a little easier to meal prep on keto. Oh, yeah. I don't like meat, so keto is a little hard for me. You don't have to have meat on keto. It's yeah. Do keto without I, meat, though. I don't like vegetables either. I mean, you can still do the nuts. Stuff like that, cheeses, whatever you need to do on that. So, don't like nuts. Man, you are Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just a cheese diet for me. <laughs> Very, <laughs> yes. I've got yeah. to pay attention to what the hell's going on here. We're not okay. I haven't pooped in a month. <laughs> That's the, oh, that is a big problem. Yeah, if you don't take a probiotic on keto, man. Things get rough. Oh man, <laughs> that's the one thing I don't have a problem with. I eat beans like every single day in my diet, so it's like I don't have a problem with that one. Yeah, I need a bean diet because I love beans. I could eat beans every meal. I should just have Chris start posting her recipes up in the in the craft channel then, because she makes yeah. all sorts of things with lentils and beans and garbanzos, mm-hmm. and we eat every day. I eat at least a bowl full of. Um, she's used some with breakfast, and then I'll usually have like a, some for lunch. And what's the preferred bean there? Uh probably just a basic old brown bean, um, or pentos. black bean. No, yeah. not really pentos. Pentos are more of or north. I would say it's at least not in the places I've lived in Mexico. It's usually just a basic black bean, and and sometimes brown. Yeah. They don't they don't really have names for all the beans. It's just frijoles. Frijoles negros, frijoles charros, you know, it's, 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 uh, yeah, we eat a lot of black beans just cause we like them. Yeah. I like, um, they call them alluvias, um, but they're tiny little white beans, um, are really good. And then I also like, uh, lima beans and fava beans, uh, oh, yeah. but they're not really a Mexican thing. So those are no. specialty things where I'm the one who ends up making those dishes. Chris likes them, but she just lets me cook them because yeah. I make mine better than she makes them. So, but I can't I touch will, her black beans. Like her black beans are to die for. I will open a can of lima beans and a can of tuna fish and mix them together and eat them. That it's actually my, sounds my pretty good. It is good. A little bit too salty. Too. Yeah. I was going to say, um, if you're doing the canned ones, um, but that does sound tasty. Yeah. Yeah, we make uh, chili with beans, and we usually use black beans. <laughs> mm-hmm.
I'm having one of those days. It's kind of a senior moment day. <laughs> okay, it happens. It, it does. I, you remember where you live? What's no. the day? <laughs> have no clue. You remember what was for breakfast, Tavares? I don't even know what you said right there, but okay. Yep, yep, yep. See? It's getting worse. It's, that's not all your fault. It's hard to understand the Yankee Yank set sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. The Yankee Yank, okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of a Yankee, too. I don't even have a Boston accent. That's what you think. I have a Midwestern TV accent. Hold on. That's Yankee. Oh, I missed the mage. <gasps> Somebody pulled oh, he's the artesian a... soldier. Mm -hmm. Has clarity. Your mom has clarity now? I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I gotta get this day started right. And I've gotta pop the pot now that everybody's here. Suck it in. I had to go give Kale his morning mouth spit. Wrong character, sir. That's still Kale. <laughs> <laughs> I see through the illusion. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Can't hide behind your wall of lies, Kill. No more. All right. I'm going to redeem myself shortly. Do that, or I'm going to start drinking again. I was way, it sounds like a win. Yeah, I was complaining last night because I haven't had a drink and not purposely, but I think I may have said this before on the stream. We do our grocery shopping at like 7 a.m. on Monday mornings. And the grocery stores here, because of the, the, the state law, is that they don't sell alcohol before 11 o'clock in the morning. And so we never – that there's and I have no reason to go to the supermarket outside of that one slot. So unless Chris happens to go um, for like a midweek run, she'll go at like you know 11 o'clock. But she hasn't needed to go for a midweek run in like a month and a half, so I haven't had any alcohol. And I tell you what, um, I, I I I really 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 miss it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a bad. Uh, instead of alcohol, I've been using the THC stuff that you can mix with drinks, hmm. so the seltzer waters and that stuff. I haven't even had alcohol in like four weeks. Hmm. I haven't yeah. had, had alcohol in like four I, years. I haven't had a drink in like four months. So. I had my first drink of the year a while back. All right. Yeah, but uh, my wife and I were doing like a, the equivalent of what a box of wine a night at one point. Mm -hmm. It was bad. That's mm. that's heavy on the sugars too when you when you're yeah yeah I mean a glass a night's not that big of a deal because I always have liked alcohol for the purpose of I'm done with my work day and and I like to combine that with with the devil's stuff and 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 to nice just knock the edge off and and but I've been in the city I haven't had access to I haven't had my uh, salad for a couple years now and it's like we moved out here, and I was supposed to be able to get going in my garden right away, and it still hasn't happened. I, But I will say this. My freaking niece told me. She was out here like two weeks ago. And she's like, do you want some to plant? And I went, well, yeah. I mean, eventually I went. She's like, I'll bring you some seeds next time. And I was like, my niece is awesome. <laughs> You're talking about that Jamaican broccoli. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see if that I can't get that. Lettuce, sir. But I do – um. I like wine and alcohol to knock the edge off at night and go to sleep. Like, it's a nice sleep aid for me. I just use NyQuil for that. <laughs> Sparrow, Chris has a ton Good of bean recipes. Whatever. I just need her to post them. You know what I need to do, Sparrow, is I need to do some – we need to do some videos with Chris because she used to well, do – Well, Drake Schrute says if you – Because we were working on her doing, normal. like, a Mexican cookbook <laughs> several years ago, you and then know. it just got put to the, the side. Beats. Bears. But we did half a dozen episodes. I think I posted them in because she had started doing like a Patreon 
experiment, and I she had put like a glass half a dozen of recipes up, while, but, but no bean recipes. And she makes different bean recipes all the time, Sparrow. And I'm they are to die for. Like Turns you can eat them right, just plain, yeah. or you can have them with sides. You put them on the side of tacos with pork. your eggs. You can have a whole bowl of them with chips or just with tortillas. And There's like they're one so wine good. Store in town that has good pork. Renfield does drugs. I want my money back. Barley wine. It was the uh, Millennium by Sam Adams. It was really good. That sounds good. Is this guy an enemy or a pet? One of them is a. There you go. Okay. He had disappeared off my bar. Just go to your extended targets bar. That'll tell you. Go, Mister Fufu. Yeah, he, go. He had. He had disappeared from my extended target oh, bar. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually using that heavily on the Enchanter. The... Oh, sure. Grats, Grats somebody. Melkor. Grats. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like Shaman? It's not where you sit. All my buffs are faded. Okay, so let's switch it over to the buff bar now. So, yeah, I've got a friend who has that issue. Um, also, my brother, Sparrow, because uh, he, he can't... Sentry will be next. It, will makes, him, it yep. makes him super paranoid. <laughs> it's unfortunate, because he, he in, <clears throat> he's never been able to enjoy it. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, because of that reason it makes him um yeah but it's that's right it's the body disliking a change of state and the mind not being able to grasp it that's why i have a hard time with with um like mushrooms like i've never done micro dosing and i know that's a big thing these days in a lot of places is like like mike tyson talks about this he likes to micro dose before he goes to the gym and a lot of people talk about micro dosing just to relax themselves but i've never tried it because i had bad experiences with mushrooms when I was younger, that part for me has always been difficult. And maybe it's because I was younger and I just wasn't in the right headspace because I wasn't around the right people. Um, but um, that one's always made me nervous. That 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 level of mind changing makes me super paranoid. I've had bad, bad experiences. But the devil's lettuce, no problems. All right, buffs coming on Sparth Harda. Can you nuke your just de deliriously nimble spell, please, Sparth Harda? Which one? It's the one with the foot, because some foot. haven't some haven't faded yet. Yeah, two minutes. Thank you. Also, Melkor, no worries, because uh, Maduros has missed a few sessions now because of wife aggro. So he'll he'll I think he's probably only still forty four. Let's get mm. him caught up eventually. Does Kel need buffs on the druid? Yeah, he does. Is Kel here? No. I'll leave the buff bar up for when Kel gets back. Kel's here. I'm right in front of you. What? Where? <laughs> oh, shit. oh I, I was... Fuck, dude. I don't remember where I was seeing. Hang on. Herping and derping this morning. I hear you, man. I'm struggling today. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw the druid and was like... <laughs> My brain's just seeing a druid where the, <laughs> where the monk is standing. It's, it's name association. 
Yeah, somebody's let my clarity fade. What the fuck, man? What? Impossible. <laughs> man, I do need to go back to bed. Oh, <laughs> right as I start buffing, Kel's like, I'm going to run away. I'm right here in front it's of my, you. It's my, it's my ADHD. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm right in front of you. Not. <laughs> my, my, my no mobs in camp trigger got triggered. That's okay. I'll take care of it. Here come some little things to play with. <laughs> oh, I think he's used to that. Ooh, that's because I'm like, wow. It's not right. <laughs> Boy, he likes these little gnome hands. Oh, <laughs> just the right size, sir. All right, I think we're good there. Uh, everybody should be buffed. I just, oh. Except for me, I need to put a buff on me to remind myself. My lord. Oh my god, stop fucking hitting me. Well. Your dog's on one of the ones I'm trying to mess. Doesn't it automatically the stop, stop as soon as you miss it? All yeah. pets will. It's one of the best changes they ever made. Yeah, compared to P99, because I know that's something that Sparrow is always yelling at is her stupid pet. <laughs> it's like, hey, no. stop hitting the mob! <laughs> trying to miss it, you stupid pet! Alright, I need to get the hit point buff up. Yeah, I don't know why it was breaking. I don't have Gina up. So anyway, Sparrow, yeah, I uh, had bad experiences with those mind-altering things back when I was younger, and I've never been brave enough to try microdosing because of that. All my friends are like, dude, it's just like taking a muscle relaxer. You would enjoy it. I'm like, yeah, but... Pop, I got it. No, I don't. There it went. Alright, now I'm finally fully buffed. Were we going to think about moving deeper, or are we just going to keep plowing away here? We can move deeper, just, uh, I don't know where the camps are. Mm, me either. I think we can set up in the hand room, and then you can pull, like, downstairs from there. Yeah. We break up the hand room next, then we'll move up there. You know what the charge is for the half hour up in the hand room? I'm gonna go to my uh, my previous invoices and let you know. Yeah. Uh, Well, per half hour, Mr. Braggart. Sentry on the walls, mezzed. Mm.
Oops. Oh, something I can say, though, um, Sparrow, is that um, because we're doing all the separate stuff over on the other YouTube channel now, Chris has started talking about um, doing her gardening stuff over there. And if I can if I can get her an outdoor kitchen like she wants, which is not a now thing, but it'll happen eventually then she wants to be able to set up to where she can do cooking videos outside, like in the outdoor kitchen with the garden right there and everything. I actually need to go take pictures of the, um, I haven't shown pictures or anything of the backyard, but like we've got two little, um, they're about six inches tall now. We have a, uh, a lime tree and a, a mandarin tree. Do you need a mallow on that? Please. Come on. And a heel coming from Melkor after that. Oh, I should be marking pets, shouldn't I? Yes. You got him? Devor? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I got him. Yep, 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 I okay. got him. This guard. Trying to help Melkor with him, with his oh. pet. Does he have a pet? Is that his pet? Yeah. Oh, this... do I need to mallow it? Let me mallow it. It's beguiled. Everything should have a mallow on it. Oh, that's right. We have a mage here. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I forgot that you had your mage, and I was. Thank you. That's okay. I thought I was slipping. No, I just, <laughs> yeah. Mel Melkor is reminding me in chat that I need to just, you know, take a break, step back, take a breather, deep breath. <sighs> There's a mage in the group. You don't have to do everything. I'm, I'm here for you. Stop trying to micromanage. <laughs> I'm not only an active, I'm a willing participant. <laughs> Spelling some of that crap. I was about to say I've been married for 14 years. Willing's enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 14 years. <laughs> That was brilliant. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that killed me. <laughs> I gave you the... Oh, oh, man. I can't even click things right because of that. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> Just dropped a drink link in the YouTube chat. 
for those of you who want to follow along with all the homesteading and gardening and cat chaos and construction as I build things around the house, it's the other YouTube channel. So I dropped a link in there if you want to go follow that. Oh my. That looks juicy. Thanks. I do Ooh. lots of squats. <laughs> oh boy. How bad are the polls right now, Kel? The um, reason I'm asking is, do I have time for a quick bio, or are we in a not a good bio place? Uh, we can take a quick uh, quick three minute. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll fill up my drink while we're doing it.
All right, sorry about that, guys. That was an unexpected. All right. What did I just get? Someone gave me something. A mod rod. Ooh. Yeah. That one's special. Thank you. Appreciate it very yeah, much. Thanks. Isn't that like a mana regen thing, I remember? Something. Yeah, it'll, uh, I think it's obviously low level, so I think it'll take 250 health and convert it into 150 mana. What are we talking about music for, Sparrow? Who was who was playing music? Oh, Spur was somebody playing music or something while I was AFK? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that is a good point. Sparrow brought that up because we're live streaming. Kel and I both. We do have to be somewhat conscious about that for copyright strikes. I don't know. I what... think it was just coming through a hot mic. Oh, okay. That was my fault. I'm sorry. I don't think about that. Cool. It's all good. I wasn't even here for it. <laughs> I just know Sparrow, Sparrow threw something up in chat. <clears throat> and it's annoying that we have to worry about that, believe me. Like, I opened up one time. I may have mentioned this before. Like, I wanted to... I, it was in my head, the theme song for Never Ending Story. And I just wanted to open up to save it for later. And I opened it up, and it played, like, a couple seconds of the clip before I was able to, you know, put the pause on it. And I got a copyright um, strike for that, um, for, like, three seconds of that song. And it was like, come on, really? Like... And the cool thing is, at least with YouTube, you can generally, if it's a short enough clip, you could just later on, you can mute that section out. If they do strike it, and and then they'll remove the strike. Um, but I don't know if Twitch does Twitch allow you to do that, or does Twitch just basically say "fuck you" and nuke the whole stream at that point? What hey, else? Fuck you! Remember that guy who jumped into our channel uh, and did all the racial slurs? Yeah. Uh, Twitch just nuked that video. Oh. So I can't go in there and edit it or anything. Okay. I I thought I had seen on Twitch previously where. If there was uh, you know, music being played that was copywritten, that it would just mute the in entire duration. Oh yeah, the entire stream. Twitch, yeah. yeah. But you no. don't want to. You don't want to do that. No. Not the whole stream, but it would only mute the section that actually had the music in it. Well, it depends if you're playing music throughout the whole stream. <laughs> well, speaking of those homemade yeah. beans, you probably yeah, everyone can move up these stairs. Eggs and stuff in it. Coming up. I hope so. Only to here? We're going to the hand room. I'm just having to manage my box count as well. No, no worries. I have no idea what it is, so I'm just going to move up to here. I'm following the mage because he knows where he's going. You were pulling all the way from here, Kel? Jeez, yeah. dude. That's a long pull. This is the room then? It is. All right, I'm going to sit over here. Anyway, it's hard to see it, guys, but uh, I got a big bowl of beans with scrambled eggs and sausage and homemade fresh cheese. Queso fresco so I think if you head from the down, church. You can get to uh, Warlord. Pet somebody's pet. But which way is down? From the stairs. Funny Foo Foo was still guarding downstairs. <laughs> yeah, there's a joke in there too somewhere. <laughs> uh, there's a big one somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she yeah. said. <laughs> That's what she said. There.
so mean to me. Unforgiving group. All right, so Kel, come out of here. You make a left out of the room. Then you know on the right, you've got those five little small rooms. Yep. There's stairs at the end of that. Gotcha. I'm no worries, sure Sparrow. Have a good church session. See you tonight. Also, I just saw your comment about I've been loving queso fresco for weeks now. So glad I tried it. Hell yeah, I love it. Mm. It's good stuff. Ren, do you have a uh, person that makes spells? Uh, I've got, I mean, I've got a buddy. All right. You can give me a list, and I can get stuff made. I think I'm about to the max on my, uh, I don't know if it goes any higher than 55 anyway, but in Kunark for uh, charms. I can't remember. Take a peek at Discord. I'm missing a, uh, a lure for sure. That's a charm up to 51, though, I think, or 50. I can't remember. I'll do some research, man. I'll get in contact with you. Oh, the dictate? Is that the one? I can't remember. I'm looking through the Enchanter spell list in Discord at the moment. I mean, dictate definitely sounds like one. Yeah. My charm pet is 46 is his max. So I got to find the next one. Uh, yeah, dictators, you're level 50. I cannot. Er, 60. Cannot mess this guy. What you got? I got him now. Got him now. Oh.
Did you say you were missing a lure as well? Yep, yep. Okay. Um, so after a lure uh, at 50, or I'm sorry, 53 Boltrans Agassari, and then Dictate is your level 60. Gotcha. Uh, I did not answer in voice chat. Sorry, I was eating. Um, yeah, I don't have my spell maker. My researcher is not high enough level, so. Gotcha. Bonjour, did you know? Fair enough. I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, no. Uh, I can I can reach out to the enchanter class lead in my guild. I've been stockpiling all the hides that we've been getting on this character, and now that I've actually got funds once again, I'm gonna. I just need to take a day and go grind up the <clears throat> research. Oh, we've got like three or four max level researchers. That's why I've been kind of lazy about it because I'm like, I'm actually have the plat to just buy the spells now. So it's kind of like, meh. If you, we have such a stockpile of hides at the moment that if you just give me a list and then I think it's like 35 or 50 plat for combined for the uh, other materials, you got your spell. I will do that actually. I need to, um, just figure out what I need from 50 to 60 for the shaman. And then just give me the list, because uh, that's way easier than me taking the time to grind it out. Aren't some of those done off of turn-ins, too? I, yes. have, I have no idea for the and shaman. A lot of them drop. Yeah, you have to actually have like three or four spells, and you turn them into a, a guy, and you'll get, you'll get a random spell back. Yeah. Like I said, we've, we've got stockpiles. Cool. Like right. I think, even with Dictate, I think we've got five on hand at the moment. Whew. Yeah, I'll get in touch with you. I'll find out what I need to pay for it because I've got plenty of plats. So. <sighs> yeah, our uh, our primary researchers they go through research all the spells, and the class leads handle all the other spells for turn ins. And that almost sounds like organization. I can't handle that. There's a part of me that misses playing and leading a guild like that, but then there's the other part of me going, yeah, I don't miss that. That's way too much work. But it's nice well, when that's you... That's the thing. Once you... It's it's not, because you delegate. Well, what I'm saying is it's... Let me put it this way. It's work to find people who are reliable enough to get to that point. But once you can have it at that point and maintain it at that point, it's not so much about work. It's about trusting people to do their jobs. But it also requires that people are on top of it um, and finding people who are not just going to, oh, I've, the nostalgia's worn off. I'm going to abandon the, the server and go play New World or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't miss that aspect of it. Yeah. Luckily, the, uh, the core group of uh, OLT, we've been together for like four years. Nice. Yeah, our the guild we ran through Iki2 and Vanguard and early Lotro, we had, we had a seven year run, and in seven years we only had two people um, that left the guild in seven years. We had a very very good run. Honestly, the only reason that it fell apart was because my relationship with my ex fell apart, and she was part of it with me, and then I just quit gaming for like two years, and. And then it just, that was, that was it. That was the run. It was a seven year run. It was a good run. <clears throat> huh. And yeah, my primary guild's 24 years old. Very nice. That's outstanding. Actually, maybe a little older than that. They came in in UO. They were playing with my personal community back in Star Wars Galaxies. <laughs> Still alive and running. Nice. They're Reavers. <laughs> yeah, we played a little Galaxies back in the day. There are, there are <coughs> Clarity. five individuals I would love to catch up with from my days on uh, Brel Serilis. Can I get a Clarity, please? Piss off. In the corner. I don't know why my alarm didn't go off, man. I am actually, I'm out of sorts. I quit. <laughs> Here it comes. Look, just just say, suck it up. Buy a, buy a four hour off the store. 
<laughs> He's not buying a four hour out of the store. I'll guarantee you that. No, I don't pay shit above and beyond my monthly sub. Oh, not for this get, game anyway. You get the free coins each month. I do, and but but the last time I just took the the three XP pots and I used those already on this guy. So. I am. Yeah, I am failing today. I do yeah, spend but... money out of pocket on Lotro and Star Wars Old Republic. Those are the two games where I will spend more than my monthly sub, and it's usually cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of the amount of cosmetics in the old republic oh. oh my brother every time he and i play that game it's a dangerous dangerous thing because it's like oh yeah let's just sub up for three months and go play another three month block and then it's like next thing you know we're spending 70 to 100 dollars because we want oh look at all these new things that are in the store that haven't been here that weren't here the last time we played a year ago and oh my god check out this new oh man and this one does this and this this helmet flips up when you pull out your blaster and oh <laughs> weird i had sworn off cosmetics in that game this was years and years ago um and then when they came out with like the the bounty hunter stuff mm. just to give you like a time frame this was probably what six seven years ago and you, uh i got stuck in a room so i had to pick out i'll be right back oh we got a hand pause i got a mess Just want everyone to notice that uh, with Kelgon, there is no DPS difference. I don't know, since he's my tank on the mains, I really see a huge difference. I don't want to <laughs> die on my road. <laughs> that taunt button, that provoke might fail next time, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. May not ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what's happening, guys. Provoke seems to be broken today. <laughs> All right, I took my 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 weekly shot of kale. I'm done. I don't know if he brought his feelings today or not. <laughs> kind of I think his wife, his, his, tiny his, bag. yeah, his wife may have beat the feelings out of him yesterday. <laughs> How far did you get on EQ2 yesterday? Uh, I think we all dinged 27, but we took it slow yesterday because there's only four of us, so we just worked on uh, armor quests. So we're up to the fourth, fifth. We got to the, we finished the fourth armor quest, and we're on the fifth for the good side anyway, because we're on most of us are good side aligned. Although Mujin couldn't play yesterday because of his daughter, so I don't know where he's at on those. But myself and Nathan and uh, troll, troll, troll. I forget the name of the guy who joined us yesterday because it's the first time I met him. Yeah, troll, arc or something like that. He he's playing a a Templar, so it's just uh, us three yesterday working on armor quests. It was a pretty slow day. I'm on the fourth armor <laughs> quest right now. I'm struggling a little bit because I'm only 23 right now. So are you good side? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down in the crypt. That's a pain in the ass, man. That's literally what we finished up yesterday was that. And then the fifth one sends you right back to the crypt again, but for an even bigger list of like, you got to kill 12 of each and you got to kill four types. Um, or at least that's what, that's what mine is for the warden. So we're going to be, the crypt is going to be the main place for a while. I haven't got down there yet. Into the crypt, I actually did three and then I was <laughs> getting ready to start it and I got tired. So Yeah, it's a little brutal doing it on your own. I'm struggling to get off that boat. Uh, off the boat on the EQ2 or what? Yeah, <laughs> in, in EQ2. Oh. The ship. Yeah, the starter ship. The yeah. I'm stuck there. It's not there. too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, they keep talking to me. I hate when they talk to you. I just end up logging off. Because they talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I got both both characters have their mounts now, so nice. I should go level five dirge that. last night. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna hit you up, but <sighs> you know what? By... What needs to happen is we probably just ought to form 
because you you'd asked me yesterday, Kel, and that that guild. That's not. I mean, it was literally three months ago, four months ago. They were very active, yeah. and they were like, "Hey, What's Nathan, up, if you're going to be playing EQ2, just join our guild, and you can use our Discord, and you can use our guild house, and everything else." I haven't seen anyone online for like six weeks, um, and we've never grouped those people ever. And I'm like, we ought to just reform and put our guild tag on it. But it's just. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to go beyond a Saturday afternoon thing because we have right, the right. guild. We have the guild on Antonia Bale, and it's sitting there for whenever we decide to cycle back around and do Velius, um, which we thought we might do the fall this fall, but then Rich Lich King came out, and so that was like, well, I guess we're going to go do Lich King instead. So it just kind of got backburnered. But now that you said that to me yesterday, it got my brain. My brain is like, we well, yeah, gotta just probably spin up a Raven Syndicate there and. At least, at least that way we're guild tagged when everybody's playing. Oh, that was somebody's pet. Hello. 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 That's, me. That's my granddaughter. Cool. She's in here looking What's at the she lizard. Playing? She doesn't play anything right yet. Why not? Her parents are pretty strict. Oh, okay. My, uh, Nephew used to play Knights of the Old Republic with us when he was like four. Nice. Yeah, Joey, I think Josh has joined us a couple times on EverQuest 2. Um, um, but we haven't done that in a while because we got into Minecraft like a year ago. And But he was playing EQT with us when he was about five, I think. My son and I are doing a playthrough of Pokemon Arceus on the Switch. It's a lot of fun so far. We got a camp pop. Which one is the camp construct pop? Construct of Sathir. Yeah, more of all. Luckily, all the pets should have versus summon. Another pop. Hand up. I've got it. And, and it's done me nice. Excellent. Well done. One of those days. It's just one of those days. Yep, I'm getting poked and prodded by a finger. Normally, I have to pay extra for that. You are, Teddy. Usually, and I hope his hands are on my shoulders. Get in the other hand. What the fuck is up with these? I don't know about the size of those hands. I don't want to see what's attached to the rest of them. Uh, that's, that is... They're uh, smaller than that. Oh, you need some invis? Okay, good. Nope, just needed time for all the mobs to fall off. Huzzah. Monks are usually so afraid to train, but you know what? It's what you're made for. Yeah, just run it and drop and pray. I mean, it's, at some point when you get the FD up high enough, it's what, 80% reliable or something? And then you just Ooh. pop a bend and pray for the best. I'm going to duck out real quick, take my plate back to the kitchen, and ask Chris if she could make another pot of coffee. Never mind, I'll wait. We got mobs at the camp.
All right, I'm going to be ohm anyway, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Where's he at? Oh yeah, all right. Chris has got me making more coffee. Chris is making me more coffee, which is great. She's also cleaning the house right now, and kittens are being crazy. <laughs> Just peeked out, and it was like madhouse in the rest of the kitchen. So don't forget tonight, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 8 p.m. Central. We're going to be back playing episode, I think we're doing episode All 8 right, tonight, new Bella, new birth pet. of um, the Weave in the Void campaign, that world map behind me with myself, Nathan Napalm, Bounty Code Sparrow, Vin... Skinny, my brother and my Rats wife. Rats on the ding, by the way. I said Vindini, but he's part of our P99 group and our E2 group. Anyway, 8 p.m. tonight, Central Time, twitch.tv forward slash Weave in Void. We will be streaming. There are a few sessions away from wrapping up the intro campaign and starting season one of the weave in the void which is the big season um, if you are a dungeon master subscriber over on our patreon page you get access to all of the concept art and all of the uh, documentation notes as we are writing and developing that first season and you also get the modules delivered to you as part of your subscription otherwise they're standalone that you can purchase over at weaveandvoid.com so if you want to watch us tonight, don't forget to tune in, 8 p.m. Central, 
twitch.tv forward slash weave and void myself nathan napalm bounty code sparrow skinny and my brother and my wife as we continue the pre the prologue module um, escape from parthana which is like level one to four they're level three right now they will get to level four probably not tonight between tonight and next session we'll see Have we seen this one before? We have not. Oh my. Mm, that's pretty, why we, it's pretty good. I'm needing on that. I, I have yeah. zero jewelry, so that's nice. That's why we come here. Ooh, boy. That is nice. Actually, that's not a jewelry piece, is it? That's a um, wrist. Wrist. wrist piece. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to roll on that. of ours. Thank you. Definitely goes in place of my serpentine bracer that's mm. trash. I'm still rocking an ivory bracelet from uh, Unrest. And get rid of some of that dexterity I don't need. There you go. <laughs> All right, looks like some of Svartha's buffs are fading, so I'm going to switch over to the buff bar. What's up, Chris? What do you need? 
My what? Oh, I already took it back to the kitchen. Thank you. Is the coffee ready? Okay, thank you. Está sudando. Okay. ¿Estás bien? Okay, gracias por limpiar. Time to rebuff the tank. <clears throat> hey, Devaris, could I have a haste? You can. In just a second. But it will be augmentation, and you will love it. And you will not ask me for serpentine, whatever it is. <laughs> what is it? Swift like the wind, I guess, at that level. Man, it just takes up so much mana. It does, and it and it it's like that every fifteen minutes or something. Seventeen, I think. Twenty-seven. That one's twenty-seven. The other one's a shorter span. Okay, the the, the swift like the wind's not too bad then, because it's you know you get about a thirty-minute break. The other one's like there's some of the lower level ones. It's like eleven minutes. It's like it's not even worth it at that point because it's so mana intensive. Hmm. All right. Um, I need to get a slow on these guys, so... I oh, damn it. I'll buff Kel next round. Oh, those are red. Look at that. Yeah, I need to... I'm, I'm going. I'm hurrying. I had to reload over to my damage bar from the buffers. Celerity is a 16 minute buff. So better pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. Oh, he just interrupted my fucking there we slow. Go. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, that's your chatter's fault, man. My bad. <laughs> well, it's just funny because it was literally casting a slow and he broke and ran straight for me and was like, no, not on my watch. <laughs> Good day. All right, back to the buff bar so I can get kill. Oh, and there we have a hand who's going to say, fuck you, you don't get to sit. I don't think we're far from from Disco and Sebelis, to be to be honest. Nope, we're close. You have to get keyed up. We're going to have to spend some time out of a dungeon. That won't take long. Yeah, it won't take long at all to get keyed up. Yeah, sub keys, no time at all. Still, not dungeon time. <laughs> uh -oh. 
touch some jungle grass. <laughs> Feel core. it between our scaly toes. Let my talons dig into the earth. Instead of click clack on a stone floor. Yeah. Here I am, grouped with the slaves of my people. after we get situated here. Sounds good. That's pretty intense, Brian. That's pretty intense. He's a little pissed off because I tried to do three mezzes on him and then each one of them got resisted. He's super pissed off. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm at 100% on him. <laughs> I'll just yeah. stand here and tank it. There we go. There we go. I really need to get grabbing the hand in the back. Really need to get rune up.
No, congrats. Round of applause. You do more damage to hands now? You can bait and strike them. Okay. Can we specific? There you go. Be useful when we go fight in the plane of hate, I guess. Why? Hand of Maestro is great for pulling the entire zone. It's just automatic after that. Yeah. Stay in Maestro room. Let the hand do all the work. I'll be right back. I have to turn on the TV for my son. Coming. Ally incoming. I really appreciate y'all having your breaks, you know, spread exactly apart for recast. <laughs> it's our pleasure, believe me. Oh, Melkor. Do a quick mez on him. He had it already, but a little bit more time to play. Is he going to mez that, or? Pick your mod rod if you need it. I'm mezzing it again, so you got it, so you have enough time. Isn't uh, isn't your current lich a higher mana regen than clarity? life of an enchanter.
What is clarity? Is clarity six mana per tick? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Let me look at it. It doesn't really say. Hmm. Uh, it goes. So at your level, it should be doing ten brand, ten mana per ten. Okay. Okay, yeah. So you're better off with Clarity Melkor. But once you hit 48 and you get Lich, it's 20 mana per tick. And you'll get a regen for me to counter that. Uh, once Kel's back, I need a bathroom bio, but I'm waiting. I'm trying to wait anyway. Sunday's update just went live for everybody on the Patreon page. I've been working on that the last few minutes. Just drop the link here on YouTube if you want to give that a gander if you are a patron over at our Patreon page. Are you back, Kel? Yeah. All right. Are you okay to take over heels for a minute? Need to hit the head. I got this one slowed. No, I don't. All right, both of these are slowed. I will be right back.
All right, I have returned. Thank you very much. Fresh coffee. Mm. Getting into the second French press now. It's only nine o'clock. We gotta go. And then after today's stream, I gotta do a ton of video production. I gotta do Rings of Power video for tomorrow morning. I gotta do Monday Muses for tomorrow morning. I've gotta do Mondays in Middle Earth for tomorrow morning. Wouldn't mind experimenting and see about doing a video for today for the early afternoon and see how that performs. I did one for yesterday afternoon. It's the first time I've ever published on a Saturday. And to be honest with you, it performed rather well. Yesterday's video was the MMORPG analysis on toxicity in enfranchised gamers. And it did pretty well. If you haven't had a chance to watch that yet, don't forget to check that video out, everybody. That came out about yesterday around noon. Got a hand pop in here. Yeah, who, who can handle? It's just a baby. You're just a mean old baby. <laughs> Loading up the buff bar, should be getting close. Let's go. 
Nothing like a little relaxing EverQuest on a Sunday morning. Yawn. That's why I'm glad Chris brought me another cup of coffee, because cup number three is necessary. Round of applause. What is that for? Killing hands, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. I've really got to hand it to you. You lent a hand before the situation got out of hand, and now I know I'm in good hands. Someone actually got paid to write that. No, that was definitely an unpaid intern. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, he just spunked all that green stuff everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Money shot. Oof. I got slimed, Ray. <laughs> Great flick. Ink. I just wasn't expecting to find a human skeleton here. Yeah, that's, that's the second one we fought so far. Kind of weird. Save my soul, find wizard Desp. He's actually saying something to us. That's interesting. Thank you for the mallow, of course. Colonizers. <laughs> Colonizers. <laughs> Triggered. The member sets on the Combine Empire. <laughs> I'm so triggered right now. A little bit of Norath lore for you there. Shows you how cool I am. <sighs> no! That's what cup number three is for. Stave off those yawns. I'll try to keep y'all giggling. I'll do better. I am going to wrap up at 10, guys, which is about an hour out, just as an FYI. No, no naps. Oh, I've got four videos i got to prep today, so i got to... And i got a D and d session tonight, so i still got a lot of work to do today. I thought we were going to 60. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for Valius. As of last night, we're closing in on 60-65 VP keyed. Jesus. That's pretty good. Amazing. There's a lot of camping of that going on. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Crankle? It's, good morning. It's starting to drop off a little bit. It used to be, I mean, when it, the last, uh, the last three weeks has been terrible. But here recently, like, people are... People are getting like their second and third boxes keyed up now. Yeah.
I think uh, actually I had we had one guy after Friday night's raid. He went. Uh, he got all pieces in three hours. Everything except the track two. So that's that's just impressive. That sounded like a gate. Ah. Looks like a pet change. Oh, it was. Yeah, but uh, I was tabbed out reading something, and it sounded like a gate spell just went off. I was like, uh-oh. Did somebody do a naughty? <laughs> an oopsie? Pinning that guy This is the one thing I hate about EverQuest. Is these slow ass camps. I just don't like sitting around in one place. I like the dungeon crawl, which is why I love the pacing of like EverQuest 2 dungeons or World of Warcraft dungeons. This pacing was great back when you typed manually, but with voice chat, like I'm falling asleep. It's like yawn. We have everything on rotation. The camp is broke. I definitely didn't care for my dog. People's like, oh, there's downtime for socialization. There's plenty of socialization when we're moving in Dungeon Cron. Just watch our multi streams when we play Vanguard or when we play World of Warcraft Classic. Tons of socialization happening, even in a fast paced environment. And the fast paced environment keeps you from falling asleep. Because I'm nodding here and I'm drinking my third cup of coffee. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning, but I'm sleepy. I've been going since 6 o'clock this morning. I'm like, Arr.
you warlords. This yeah. puckering. Yay. Don't pucker. We'll get him. We'll get him. Dis- we'll get him debuffed. <laughs> Mallow's own ink, right? Warlords met. One of them, anyway. Yeah, for sure, crinkled. And we need AOEs and pet breaks. That's the way we do it. I mean, you know, just to wake everybody back up, because it's too quiet. It is. Not till we get Sibilis. Disco is always a fun little camp. Yeah, I came out with some really good trash drops from Seb last night. There you go. Good luck, everybody else. Yeah, what'd you get? Uh, really just, uh, the Niles Van Braces of Morning. Oh, nice. Those are good, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to it, to be honest. This have was such a great time. It really is. There's so many good drops in that zone. Yep. Yeah. We, the Crips are going to be beyond us, though. You just do a slow break. Got to get in it. Got to hire a rogue. I got, oh, look at that. Y'all know any bards? Do not. I don't know if we have any on. Wow. Go. Bad notes on, but... Ah, goodbye, Ivy Bracelet. Oh, congrats. Did you drop anything else? Uh, let me look it up. A few more names, anyway. Wow. Happy I went that way. He drops the Noctivigant Blade for SKs. Okay. Uh, screwed up, didn't fix my advanced loot yet. Uh, so I'm going to leave the other supple scale on the corpse. Honor system, whoever was next highest roll. Or to fight for it. He was Nim? I don't know. Uh, I mean, Sparth rolled next, but can't use. There you go. Melkor? Yeah, whoever needs to get it. Not that big a deal. I... What? I do, could use it, but I don't know which corpse it's on. I don't who, got, who got one earlier? Because they are low. I got one earlier. I got the first one, I think. Okay. So whoever wants it, go ahead and blast up. 
Yeah, I can't even see it because it's it was part of the advanced loot, so I don't know where it's at or anything like that. If no one else wants it and it's up for me, I don't know how to get back to it. If the skelly is on the ground, I think it's sitting on the skelly. With the Drolvarg Warlord. Oh, I already cleared him. Yep. Okay. You it's on the skelly? No, it's on the Warlord. Sorry. It'd be the dog. Yeah, I can't even click. Like, when I click the Warlord, it just brings up the advanced loot window. And that item is already cleared. If that makes sense. I just don't know how to get back to it. So if anybody can see it and can loot it, take it, because I can't get to it. <laughs> Melkor can't get it either, he says. Possibly, that's a good point. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. It'll, it'll 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 be on the corpse once the timer runs. This guy's resisted two of my slows, so fuck you. You're not getting a third. Oh goodness, here's another warlord. Give me just a second here, Cal. I'm going to give you celerity. It's long cast. All right. Coming in. Well, it wasn't 15 minutes, because I was just able to get it. Awesome. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you got to get it anyway. Yep. There's one, one in camp here. There yeah. we go. Cool. Finally replaced a piece of that withered. Hmm. That withered, what piece did you replace? The bracelet? Yeah, withered bracelet. Let me check my druid. Hold on, it might be an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because otherwise it's just getting st stashed in the bank for whatever alt eventually comes next. All right. 
I'm messing it. Which in a perfect world, there will not be another alt, because I'll be playing this all the way through to Lucklin. Lucklin. And as, as fun as rolling a cat sounds, I'm, I, I'm not going to do that. Thank God. You don't want to be able to get it? I don't want to do another alt. Like, I said, that's enough. That's enough. I'm... Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> you say it now. I do say that now, but I, I am looking at the long... Yeah, I, I it's 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 enough. So let's see, you've got your shaman, and what was your other character? Enchanter and a bard. What level was your bard? 50. They're both at 50. But I'm, this is this will be the one I play through. I like the shaman a lot. It, it can go in a lot of different group combos, and I get to sit here. Like, I don't, uh, you know, the bard, fuck that. I'm always, everybody's wanting me to pull all the time. One in camp, by the way. Yep, I got him. The enchanters, I, I don't, I like the enchanter a lot, but um, to be honest with you, I've done it so many times now. Like, I think that this is my fourth enchanter that I'm just kind of like, nah. And I've never done a shaman before, so it's actually kind of it has my attention for the moment, and I can be productive in a group whilst not having to be active. If that makes sense, I don't have to be like running all over the place and pulling. I don't have to be paying attention. <laughs> the most engaged I've ever felt in the game is with an enchanter. For me, it's always the tank, and and I'm getting that in Warcraft because I'm about to switch over and be the raid tank so I will be plenty engaged so for me the enchanter though for EverQuest yeah that's pretty engaging for EverQuest 1 yeah that, that's actually the, the least bored I've ever been on a character is with my, my old enchanter so I was saying this I was pushed to mute but I was telling YouTube this a minute ago I was like Technically, I'm only two and a half. I'm three hours into my stream right now, and it's only nine o'clock in the morning. I'm falling asleep, mostly because I, you know, I don't sleep a lot at night, but also because that when you're, this is why I prefer dungeon crawling. And yeah. EverQuest One is not designed for dungeon crawling. It's designed for camps. Camps are great. They don't bore me. However, when you have broken a camp and you're half asleep from the night before, it it's. You know, yeah, there's chat and, and all this other stuff, but it's still very kind of, we know the spawn, you know what I mean? Like, we have the spawn time down. It, there's not a lot that will surprise us unless we get, like, an oh shit, um, or somebody takes the bio at the wrong moment or something like that. Speaking of which, I'll be right back. So, it sounds like he wants to go to <laughs> Hallowstones. I think I know what I'm going to boost now, and wow. It's going to be a paladin. It has to be a paladin. Mm. Mm. Lots of people like the pallies gonna be a holy paladin mm. excuse me sir f you <laughs> <laughs> everybody was thinking it he just in a perfect world yes crinkled that's but, actually yeah. what i was working on too so i understand the best thing in the game holy paladin mm, oh if you're paladin. doing that too then no i don't want to do that gross yeah. i don't know if, if y'all are you do it i'll play a blood uh shadow knight or death knight I haven't played Death Knight yet. Death Knight, never, awesome. never even played one. Is this classic stuff? Yeah. Yep. I've never played classic as far as the, the new version of it. Yeah, like every version of Death Knight is good. So. Yeah, I mean Lich King. If you want a tank, you just go Druid. Druid's fine too. Druid tanks are amazing in Lich King era. <laughs> Default is always Hunter. At least by Lich King, they couldn't say, nope, that's Hunter Gear. Nope, nope, that's Hunter Gear. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I ran, a, I ran a raiding guild when Lich King was in Arrow. That's why I don't need guilds anymore. Guys, yeah, so it sound like you got it under control. I don't, I'm gonna activate my wild WoW account again. <laughs> it's a good thing, I Brian. Had someone else changed the password to my WoW account for me. Just don't That's, you dare. Find a focus and stick to it, to it, man. 
Tavares, are you playing WoW today? <laughs> I am not playing WoW today. I am playing LARP today. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a reason why I'm not playing WoW, so... Mythic Raiding. Oh, that sounds like fun. It was for a while. Overrated. I just get tired of my character getting revamped every, you know, month or two months. A demon hunter is still mythic raided, raid geared, so. Yeah, live is a, a crapshoot. It is. I, you know, maybe I could do classic because I tired. I get tired of living off of parses. That's the reason why I don't watch parses in this game. First person who tries to tell me about parsers and wow. Boot from Guild. No, I just... Uh, I can't remember what... I think it was EverQuest 2. We had somebody who joined our guild at one point, and we broke into that habit really fast. Because they, they came in wanting to parse everything, and, and they were dropping parser chats during raids. And I just was like, you do that one more time. We are not here to parse. We are here to just have fun. It's not about leap deeps. Yeah. Fun. Cast per minute, all that stuff was all involved, man. CPM, DPS. I mean, if people want to run parses for themselves, it's, I get it. I totally get it for personal, like, I want to be the best I can be. But the moment you start judging other people because they're not hitting the numbers on a, on a list, it's like, uh-uh, mm-mm. I ain't got time for that. We, uh... We have a great policy. So parsers with OLT, they're not allowed to be posted publicly. So not in raid chat, not in guild chat. Perfect. They perfect. We only use them to make sure people are doing like they're not casting the wrong stuff. So they're not trying to, you know, ice comet lady box. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So we just we make sure that everybody's on the right track and we try to get rid of overhealing too. Yeah, overhealing is a good reason to use one. So it's it's basically class leads have access to the parses. That's it. Then, yeah, and that's that's a good call because then it's then it's just about hey, send somebody a tell and be like hey, just you know FYI, you know a little bit of overheal yeah. going on. Management of mana. Yeah. yeah, Lady Vox has really good cold resist. So let's let's switch over to uh, conflagration, please. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to worry too much about uh, overheal in our guild right now because we have like four clerics. And it's all seed yeah. until anyway. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Last time I was on a raid, it was, it was yeah, all Yeah, it's always a big heals. thing when somebody can turn yeah, fiction around. We shouldn't, you shouldn't really make it into a positive. Too, too many seed to heal rotations right so, now. So just on a personal note, Brian, do you not that's, have... That's I'm going to ask this question because I, I know you... Some yeah, people cannot. A lot cannot. of them is just fast heals. Um, I know that that's you... It. Fast heals. I never had a... I smoked cigarettes alive. for many, many years and smoked three packs a day and was definitely addicted to cigarettes, but then no, I had congestive the lung failure. Didn't have and that voice over IP, broke that habit. And I've chains. never been addictive oh, about look, anything else in my life. I can, I can drink. I can... Your, what, um, bucks, I can Roger smoke Roko. cigars. I can smoke all sorts of, you know, I can That's, do all these we, other things. I've never had anything Roko, actually, bother me addiction-wise yeah. other than cigarettes. Roko was what? So, I've, you know, does drinking bother yeah. you or is it the something came out, that you... what, 99? Because, yeah. like, I, I, like, my dad, for example, he's... Because I remember I was using He can't Roger handle Roko certain with, things. Uh, um, Quake World Because he has workers. an addictive personality. Yeah. And so, like, anytime he has to take pain pills for his back... He just gets addicted like that because the, the over tolerance IP goes up so much. The next thing you know, he's, he's taken two or three times what he needs to be taken because he's built up a tolerance. So I'm just curious if that and is something team that speak has bothered had, you we or could not. Officer talk around so nobody could hear us talk. We had a separate push to talk button. Yep. Yeah. That's that's one thing I wish Discord would implement. Yep. No, I'm not even a key. Clarity. You're not getting clarity. Okay, maybe. I actually got the buff bar up, I just haven't followed through with it. Speaking of buff bar, I need to... Yep. I could, I could use a C as well. It's coming for everybody. You're more than welcome to have it. Anybody keeps me alive and does DPS and just basically everybody. Yeah, I'm borderline with alcohol, Brian. Like, um... I don't 
need to get drunk, to but I yell, do like 30. having a couple drinks yeah, every get, night. Uh, and Chris me, is the one he'll notice because when I because I will very uh, easily so go from two to three. And I've never quite ever gotten to four. Bad, there's been know. there's been times when I start getting yeah, up into, the, at it into the range where my three drinks is turning into four. I'm usually pretty good about checking myself and then just backing off for a few weeks. But if I don't, Chris will be like, hey, you just finished off a bottle of tequila in like three nights. Don't you think you maybe want to take a break? And it's like, that's a good point. Maybe now is a good good time to, you know, take a week off or, yeah, or chill, drink wine for a about. few nights. Or in this case, you know, we, we haven't drank anything because we just aren't going to the grocery store when they sell alcohol. But that's good to know, Brian. Like, you have to quit drinking for a month at a time to keep yourself in check. So, I mean, I definitely have noticed that. So there, I, I probably do have that addiction problem somewhere in there um, if I were just to allow it to keep going. But I've never felt compelled. Like, I don't like feeling hungover, and I don't like the feeling of being drunk. I like to, I like to get a little buzzed, so... You know, I'll have a couple tumblers of whiskey, and yeah, resisted. by the time I get to three, I'm so sleepy, I'm I don't feel the need to go beyond three most nights, because it's like, I'm ready for bed at that point. Like, I don't I don't need another drink. I just want to go sleep. Yeah, that's that's definitely wild territory, sir. So, well, as long as you're capable of keeping it in check, that's that's the most important thing. Not everyone is capable of doing so. All right, Kellen. All right, switch into the buff bar. Probably start looking into the monk epic to see if that's worth it. It's a hundred percent worth it. It's a hundred percent worth it. Absolutely. Just how much chrono is it <laughs> for the monk epic? Depends on if you get the uh, the items here and uh, and chart up. I don't know what else it takes. Pretty sure you have to have the uh, the monk quest items from the human cities. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Uh, people sell the sashes and headbands. Yeah, that's a game changer for the monk. Yeah, you'll you'll be using the epic through planes of power. Cuz the the clicky acts like a bard song haste. See, so it's like a triple haste. Yep. So you're getting V3 haste, and really the stats are kind of unbeatable for the hand slot. And let's say once you get elemental, I think elemental will be better stat-wise. But I mean, think about it, you, that's going to be your best in slot until elemental armor. And then you can still click from inventory. Yeah, that was mandatory in Resurgence to have that up to date before uh, Kunark came out, or as much as you could get. And then Kunark, they just went and flooded zones. All right, Kel and Svarthara are rebuffed. Switching back to the damaged ones. Crinkle says, five years off tobacco smoking, dipping every day. I still feel an urge for it. Um, I'll tell you when mine 
Yeah, if no one, it, that's the social thing. So here's here's a funny thing for me, Crinkled. I mean, I could just have lung failure when I was 22, so it broke me of the cigarette habit at at that point in time. So that's a quest with a sleeping um, ogre, isn't it? But it's the the, the cravings monk. came back. Like once I got back healthy again, I I had the cravings all over again. And it was you know three years I didn't smoke and cravings came back and about three years after that i would socially smoke when i was around people oh, i keep getting smoke. excited i've got a and that lasted from 2005 all the way Pegasus up until around 2011 2012 i would socially smoke and occasionally i would get to the point where i would part-time smoke uh, where i would go I'm through like a three-month three phase where i would uh, where i would start smoking like you know five six cigarettes a day but it would never be yeah, like I used to smoke. It would only ever be wasted. like a cigarette every few hours. You know? And then, you know, I'd go Scales. through five or six cigarettes in a day. Scales, my and stroke. then, sometime oh, around... The the golem, but it was when I was dating Chris. Um, and I went to so Columbia for a few scale, months to, uh, to do a scale, scale, red contract. Scale, and and um, I smoked when I was down there. That's when I was I, I I really loved Lucky Strikes around that time. Filter you know no non filter Lucky yeah, Strikes and we um, You're a douche. then uh, when saying. I got back to Cancun, <laughs> I got serious about dating Chris. Uh, could someone heal Sabrath Hada? I got no mana. Oh, oh just shit! Die. It's fine. All right, pet thoughts going on. I may have said something too late, guys. I was that's my fault. You're chatting. I was chatting and healing, and then suddenly realized that I was out of mana without knowing I was that close to being LOM. So that's my fault. Right. Uh, I'll handle this one. Um, Somebody get a heal on him. Came back and quit and smoking Costco. again because Chris didn't like it, and so I was dating her. And then I had like five, six months where I didn't really smoke anything. And then I had a neighbor that moved in, and this is Iron 2012, and my neighbor. She and I, she would come home from work, and I would hang out with her Thank sometimes, you. and we would hang out and have a beer, and she smoked. And there's like, two or three times where she's like, you want a cigarette? And I took one, and I remember, like, the third time, um, she was like, you want I a cigarette? And I said, sure. I and I took it, and I took, like, one drag, and, and it just tasted like complete ass. And I have not had a craving ever since. It's been ten years now, not a single craving for cigarettes ever. However... I still have cravings for dip. I would love a dip. I would I would absolutely dip again. And I know it's bad for me, but I love chewing tobacco. And, and I chewed for about three years in between when I was basically getting over the the smoking and the lung stuff is when I was chewing. And um, I like tobacco. I like chewing tobacco. And to this day, I haven't chewed tobacco since probably 2006. 2007 and I still to this day crave chewing tobacco and it's been you know 15 plus years and I still crave it it's a weird thing man but yeah that's my saving grace is no one in my immediate circle yeah, chews or anything I totally when I go up to the states when we go up and visit my family we're up there for 4 or 5 months I heard my uncle low volume in the background my so uncle I and, and anytime, I, anytime I go hang out with my uncle I totally am like hey man can I bum a dip Right, reloading the buff bar for Sparth Harda. Yeah, check your uh, check your emotes, Ren. Discord or emails? In game emote. Oh, hang on. It, uh, my emotes are that spam's gone. Sorry, oh, you I missed all the good ones. Man. I have I have my um like dots and stuff are going to the main chat window, so that's the same place the emotes go. Sorry. All right, who's up for a bracelet? I'm not going to have mana to heal Sparth Harda because I need to buff, so... Uh, engaging burn mode.
It's going to toss a rip thing in a can of Coke. Oh. <laughs> Let's load my damage bar. Oh, man, that brings me back. We were talking about chewing tobacco yesterday, too. Just, it's a good thing I can't buy it around here. You know, when it comes to the difficult things that I've put away in my life, smoking was pretty easy to get away from. Dipping, mm, that's another beast. All yeah, I, it's weird how, like, it's been, you know, 17 years or whatever, and right, I, s okay. I still am like, oh, God damn it, I, I gotta got stop it. my slow. And from a from a physical standpoint, it's a nastier habit than smoking because of the the, the you know spit tune, spit wads and stuff, spit bottles and. See, I've uh, <laughs> I've always gutted Copenhagen. Oh no, too. no! Do not no! <laughs> don't say that. Oh man, that's so wrong. No. Well, so here's uh, the gentlemen do not spit. Ugh. Yeah, so I mean, the thing is with me, it's not like I wait until I've got a mouthful of tobacco sure, juice sure. and then I'm swallowing. So it's just like I'm like a normal swallow pattern. That shit well, burns, man. Woo! Not at all. I used to know a guy, he'd been dipping for 30 years and never spit. Yeah, we got a family friend who's one of my friends of my dad. And he's a, he's about 65 now and he's been he's been gutting Copenhagen his whole life. Well, I'm Adam Mana, by the way. Reached 100. I hope that we can have a mana break. Oh my god! Are we gonna have? Are we gonna have a bracelet rot? I think so. We might. Y'all are crazy gutting tobacco like that. Right, y'all mind if I call it out in the OOC for somebody to come grab? Yeah, go for it. Don't train. <laughs> as long as they don't train, yeah. So I usually, when I, because I was chewing when I used to work ceramic tile and natural stone, so usually when you're in that trade, you have you typically have a bucket of I don't know. No one. Some people not know the terminology here, but a bucket of thin set. So it's it's the cement adhesive that you use to put tile on the floors and walls and it's it's uh -huh. called thin set so i would always have a bucket of thin set sitting next to me and so i would always just spit right into the bucket of thin set and i learned that from one of my dad's buddies who i grew up working under and uh, he just would always spit right in it and then in the truck i had a spit spit bottle and at home i had a spit bottle never could gut it though i think when when i first started it was you know skull like everybody and uh i cannot gut skull to save my life hmm. i wouldn't gut skull to save my life i still have the pit where it's it <laughs> oh your little pocket yep i still have it i haven't chewed for probably 20 years yep, and it's one of those dentists will very quickly go oh you dip or you chew <laughs> Absolutely. You got a nice little pocket right here. I chewed tobacco one time when I was playing baseball in college. And then I uh, I tried it. I was like, I don't like this so much. Nope. They wouldn't let me smoke my pipe while I was playing baseball for some reason. <laughs> I started out with beech nut at first. And then I, I went to Hawken for a long time. My grandfather chewed red man until he died. Because teeth, I didn't stop him. 
Red Man Plug. I remember that when I came. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Plugs. Time to do my commercial. Do the Guardian over here. Everybody you're here and you can afford to do so and you like supporting content if creators, hide, drop a super I'll chat or a sticker as we wind down the stream oh, today. It is, yes, sir. And in my oh, third yeah, month as a full-time content time. creator here on YouTube, full-time streamer, and we That's have right. hit all of our numbers thanks to the support. Can't really of the label. Community. It's got the ring around it and plus thanks yours. to everybody for their help. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you can also you check can, uh, out patreon.com forward slash Wandering Hermits. Uh, I have to go to the advanced loot window and I have to leave on corpse. Done. About a 10 minute warning for me. Bear? Not bad, gents. Got into 51, halfway to 52. Switch to a wizard, right? Switch to a mage. Mage, oh. They just don't have the AFK stigma that wizards oh, do. Oh, God. So the uh, groups come quicker. From a personal standpoint, I would always prefer a wizard. Oh, I would too. But I tell you... Groups don't, yeah. They're... You're in the minority of people who... I, yeah. There's a part of me that really would love to do, to play a wizard next time I do a another um, TLP server. If you've got a static, you're, yep. you're set. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Usually, I end up as the druid, and then this time around, I was the enchanter. Um, so it could be that next time we do it, I, I play the wizard. Because I tell you what, I have loved the hell out of the mage in World of Warcraft. That has been a lot of fun. Just nuking the shit out of everything. Um, so up until I don't know, probably level 45, 40, 45, your wizard basically just has delete buttons. So like start casting when a mob's at 60%. It'll be at or below 50 by the time the spell lands. And then they're gone. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. More delicious than Kel. I don't know. Oh, We're getting nuts. pretty crazy now. I said it. I'll stand by it. Take it back, son of a bitch. Make me. Got me there. <laughs> gonna need a heal. And leave my mother out. Going to need a heal. Alright, I'm gonna pet tank it. Thank you. Yep, he was being a complete and utter turd. Got him. Thank you. 
the clarity on my druid, please? When you are settled. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Put the bar up here in just a second. Oh, he's being a butt. He is being a dick. I mean, we were at a 10 minute, so we can smite him. Smite, 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 smite. <laughs> Pet doesn't realize how bad I have to bio. <laughs> no, it does. That's where I was that earlier. I was like, I was sitting here. I was like, guys, I really got it. I just, I'm gonna have. Where's Kel? Kel, hurry up and get back. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Playing the turtle dance. So here next week then? Yep. Saturday. I'm assuming because I think we're staying here until we get 50. Or unless I know Kel had said something about moving out to Seb. Is, or is or do we want to get keys next Saturday and move out? Or are we still too low level? No, y'all are actually prime level for Seb. Yeah, we're prime level. Um, I might see if Maduro's. He should be fine. He should catch up quick. Because if, if that's the case, then we can get our keys on. Does everybody need a key or just one person? That's something I don't know. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. So get our keys next Saturday morning and then go straight to Seb after that. Oh. That sounds. Yeah, Joe has his druid that should, it won't take any time at all. Uh, y'all will be keyed in 10 minutes. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. If we kill enough week. of them, we could pop a boss out there and get an Iskar mask. We could all be look like Iskars. Iskars. What do you mean? Ooh. You who are inferior? I'm I'm a, I am a dark elf. Do that. I can't remember what that guy's name is, but I think if you kill enough, he pops. Or you can buy it for two chrono, I think. So whatever you want to do. I'm a cheap bastard. I buy nothing. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I've got double digits chrono, <laughs> and I'm sitting over in the EQ2 server, and they're giving what 39 plat for a chrono. I was like, what? I think I'll just grind it out. Mm hmm. On uh, Thornblade, I rolled a druid on there and just got him to you know, port levels. So once he was porting, I earned 6k chrono, or 6 chrono, just from doing ports alone. Nice. Not sure why I looted that. The wrist guards are near. Why not? Oh, 
I'll be damned if you need those. Uh, that's okay. I'm used to being ignored. So here's the deal. You obviously didn't get those before, evidently. Because if they're on my loot window, I usually pass on everything. Yeah. That's... Those have been up there for a while. For yeah, a so that was time. already in my advanced loot, so it's already popped one. Yep. I am not taking that heartbreak. Ain't no heartbreak. Especially on your little twink. Not twinked. <laughs> yeah, that... Oop. It's buff time. It's perfectly reasonable to have a fungi tunic. I agree. And staff. I don't have the staff. Oh, the staff's the one you want. Uh, too lazy for the staff. All that clicking. Well, maybe by next weekend. By next weekend, I should have my epic done. Put my hate disease open again. Oh man, yeah, I got bugged on the uh, the hate DZ this week. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, Magi Patasa had the staff in his hand. So we went in there with like a group and a half. And something happened. Uh, the tank disarmed him, which means it should just be an inventory, right? Didn't yep. oh. And when he dropped, it was like we had a loot lockout. There was experience awarded. We got a faction hit. There was no coin, nothing on the inventory. Oh my god. And nobody, we checked before we went up there, nobody had a loot lockout or anything. And obviously the GM response was, oh, Tough shit. yeah, we don't, we don't do anything with uh, items anymore. Good luck next time. Take it to a bug report. Maybe we can fix it. Man, I hate that for you. That sucks. Yeah, all it did was push it back a week. I think we can kill these charm mobs once we're ready. That sounds good to me. I'm ready to all wrap right. it. I'm going to go ahead and hide for mine and... Incoming. You didn't break? Well, you bitch. I'd better. There you went. I'm going to have to say I am not sorry. Or I am sorry to see, not sorry to see you go. That's what I'm going to say. Words are hard this morning, evidently. Words are hard. So if we can get a uh, Mike and Ed King group, uh, I know if I am epic to, by that point, Fett can thank the king, no problem. Nice. All right. Let's get an origin yeah. out from here, boys. Sounds fair. Right. And then... Once a uh, super, invite my druid, please. Here, let me... Um, I'll make you leader kill. Here, I'll disband so you can get in. That way I'm going to origin out and... Yeah, I'm just going to origin too. I got to sell, and, uh, yep. and then I'll gate back, and I'll move my guy. So we are going to try to key up Saturday. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. Oh. Same time, same place. and okay. That's Emerald Jungle, right? Let's it's... see if um, Maduros is going to be around next weekend. Thanks for joining us today, Crimson. Appreciate it. Nope. The pleasure was all mine. Absolutely. Okay. If you all ever have Thank a you. spot, hit me up. We'll let you know. Yeah, for sure. Um I know Maduros has been getting a lot of wife aggro on the weekends recently, so he's been hit and miss. Always I, happen, I always, always happen to happy to have you when that happens. It's been great for me. <laughs> All right, boys, yeah. I'm going to head out. I'll catch you later or tomorrow or tonight for D&D, &D, if not next weekend for more of the same.
right. See you then. Later, bud. Have, have a good one. Have a good Sunday, everybody. Yep. Take care. Be well. All right, stream folks. We are actually officially to the wrap-up time here for today's stream session. I am going to be going forth from here and making a quick video because I'd like to see how we get how performance is today on a video. I try to have it out by around 11 o'clock. We're going to do another uh, another video for the day. Saturday's video did pretty well, so if, if these keep going and we see the same type of performance, I'm going to try to start doing daily videos on Saturdays and Sundays as well. We'll see. In the meantime, i got to go away from this. i got to record a video now. i got to do tomorrow's Rings of Power, tomorrow's Monday Musings, and tomorrow's Mondays in Middle Earth, so i got four videos i got to go do today, and I have to prep for Tabletop tonight. There will be a nap in there somewhere. Um, last chance moment for anybody who wants to drop Super Chats, stickers, or join as a member as we continue to wind down Next week's schedule is going to look something like this. Monday morning at 6 a.m., a Rings of Power video, followed by a the Monday Musings episode 77 at 7 a.m., followed by Mondays in Middle Earth at 11 a.m. as we get into the Frodo and Sam part of the Two Towers. Then Monday night, I'll be back playing um, Sea of Thieves on the Xbox at 5 p.m. on Monday night. Tuesday morning at 8 p.m., excuse me, Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Central, I'll be playing... Um, Vanguard Saga of Heroes with the multi-stream team, and then Tuesday night, Lord of the Rings Online. I'm really hoping I can do it, because the last couple of weeks we've had power outages due to storms and stuff, so we'll see how it's going to be, because it is going to be raining all next week, so uh, I may be cursed with Lotro for the moment. Um, Wednesday morning, World of Warcraft, Wednesday night, World of Warcraft, Thursday morning, World of Warcraft, Thursday night, World of Warcraft, Friday morning, World of Warcraft, Friday night, P99, and then back again next Saturday and Sunday mornings for the same EverQuest TLP static group. Thanks for having and hanging out, everybody. See you in a little bit for a video upload. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, have a good Sunday. See you tonight at 8 p.m. Central for twitch.tv forward slash Weave and Void as we continue the adventures of that campaign.